And let me say for the avoidance of doubt, I have only one focus as regards the Gashagwa Deputy President, and no other. I am focused in only one thing, assisting President William Ruto to succeed, and nothing else. <laughs> I'm not there. I'm not there. Ati waseme deputy president ya mepewa I. Ati diyo ni kufero. Mimi. Mimi ni chuba ya zamani. Niko pale. Ata wakijaribu nini. Unajua watu wanaslete maneno ati wanitoe kwa hiyo kazi. Ati diyo nianze kujibishana na watu. Ati nianze kutafuta ati wabunge. Ati kuwaita kujeni. Mundi saidi. Mimi am focused. And I cannot lose focus. And in this administration, I have no other agenda. My agenda is only one and none and no other to make sure that I assist President William Ruto succeed in the economic transformation of this republic. Let me just talk about those who, those who want to succeed the President William Ruto, Sisi, we want him to succeed. Those who want to succeed him, we allow him to succeed, then you can succeed him. So you must allow him to succeed. Na mimi nauliza sasa. Nyinyi vijana. William Ruto amechaguliwa juzi. Mwaka moja. He has nine years to go. You are talking about succeeding him. Munataka kurithi muzee. Munataka kukawa muzee ya giwa hai. Surely you people. What is, what is, you young people. What is the problem? President has just been elected. Sidi mwaka moja? Ati watu naaza kusema ati ni mimi ati huyu diyata succeed year 2032. Kwanza, it is disrespectful to the president. Iyo ni kukosa eshima kwa kiongozi. Sasa kiongozi ya mechaguliwa tu. Just last year. Ako hapa diyo anasetto down kupanga panga kazi. Weo naaza kusema ati mimi in nine years in tariti. Ya dani anakuambia utakuwa uwai. How do you know? Nine years is a very long time. Number two, it is also very being very insensitive to the people of Kenya. The people of Kenya today do not want to hear about positions and elections. Wanataka kusikia barabara itategeneswa siku gani. Stima itaunganishwa lini. Sindio? Tutapata maji lini. That is the conversation. I want to ask our leaders, please, especially in Kenya Kwanza. Please, let's focus to Musaidi, a president, a succeed. And if you have ambition and you want to succeed him, which is okay, and it is fair, and there's no problem, si mungoje kwanza, achaguliwe tena 20, 27, then akicha achaguliwe muanze kupanga vile munaeza rithi ye. But for now, surely, it's being very rude to the people of Kenya is being very insensitive to the people of Kenya to talk about succession. Let us talk about service delivery. Iyo diyo kitu ya maana sahi. Tumekubadia na watu ya bomet? Ama nyi munataka wa watu wa unge mambo ya 2032? That is a topic that is, uh, uh, should never be anywhere in any discussion. Let us focus to Musaidiye Rais, Afaulu, mambo ya huko mbele wale munataka kupanga, mwede mupange huko. But for now, Mawaziri, Namimi, MPs, let us all focus on assisting the president to succeed because he must succeed in the transformation of our economy and the transformation of the people of Kenya. Naomba viongozi wetu, leader of majority Aaron Cheriot, you are doing a good job with the Senate. Na wale wengine kwa bunge, muendele kuunga mijadara ya serikali mkono, tuendele supporting our legislative agenda in parliament. And the few challenges that we have with the judiciary, they will be addressed. You see, they challenge the president to provide evidence of corruption in the judiciary. And I have said I will lead by example this coming Thursday. Iko judge moja, tuko na evidence ya kutosha, tutapeleka pale. Diyo tuanzie na huyo, alafu wengine wafuate. Najua ni kifungua yu laini, najua wa Kenya watafuata. So that... Uh, we also 
do the right thing. And everybody must be held accountable. The president and the executive are accountable to parliament and to the people of Kenya. Parliament is accountable to an inch. Judiciary must also be accountable to the people of Kenya. Because I will see Mungu, where they are falling short, they will be told. And they should not complain. At our to magazine, where they fall short, we also tell them. Sisi tukikosea, mutuambie. Na hatu lalamiki mukitukosoa, at hawa, when they do the wrong things, we will also tell them. That is a new Kenya. It's a country of accountability. Everybody must be accountable. Hakuna mutu atakape keyake kusema ati edi ya najua kila kitu. Hata hawa tutawakosoa. And they must be prepared and they must eh, acclimatize to being held accountable by the people of Kenya. Through the representatives of the people. Hawa, tu, hawa viongozi wa mechaguliwa na watawulisa maswali. Na kwa hivyo mahakama pia mkifanya hile wa Kenya wanaona si sawa mutaambiwa diyo mrekebishe. Na musilalamike mkiulizwa. Murekebishe, hata sisi mkituliza atulalamiki, pahali tumekosea, tutarekebisha. Pahali tutuja kosea, tutaeleza, na hiyo itakuwa nijia nzuri ya kukaa.